James Wiseman still has no timetable for his return. Should the Warriors be concerned? Uh, no, I don't think so. And I think it's because of the timeline of how the Warriors are going. You know, I think with a big man who suffers a knee injury that early into his career, I think you have to take the time and you have to kind of like play it out. I don't think you should rush him back because something like that could be very severe for a big like that. And I think w- the way this team is projecting, this team is probably going to finish either number one or number two in the West. You know, this team is probably going to finish with a high seed. Clay's back, you know, and their small ball brand of basketball, it works, you know. So I think, like, and Draymond's going to be back soon too, you know. So I think having Draymond is incredible. I think Wiseman, he's only really, like, not saying he's not going to be. He's, he's key for the future of the Warriors. But for right now, He's only really needed to play bigs like the Joker, and they won't really see the Joker. I think, like, like I, we had a segment before when they played the Suns, they still dominated the rebounds regardless of the other team having DeAndre A and, and JaVale McGee. So, and with Utah, Rudy Gobert poses no real effect to them because they're a three-point shooting team, and they go small, and that's something that affects Utah. So, for James Wiseman, they got him to be that type of big body, and Denver isn't going to re- really – threaten them because they're injured so they don't really need them at the moment i think they can take their time with him and then of course like we were talking about before the show with jonathan kaminga the way he's playing when he gets the minutes and then jordan Poole being who he is Otto porter being that solid guy for them they got jta damian lee stepped up his game a little bit as he's been getting more minutes they got these solid role players they don't they have 10 deep now so wiseman i don't even know how he would fit in kevon looney I love the rant about him because he's just so bad to watch sometimes. He's been really good for them defensively and rebounding wise. And he's been doing a lot on the offensive end for them too. Sneaky showing some moves. I remember me and JC was laughing one time because they ranked them as the next KD on, on YouTube on ball. Oh, they on called them the, yeah, they called him the next KD. And we <laughs> was just laughing about it for a long time. So yeah, they don't need him right now. I think they're in the right position. They're in a great place right now. They can just take their time with him. Okay, and what do you what do you think, uh, Drew? This is a tough subject for me because I am very adamant on the fact that I understand that you have Clay Thompson and, and Jordan Poole has shown great flashes, but that pick comes around and you pass up on Lamelo Ball. To me, it's inexcusable. I'm sorry, bro. It, it's inexcusable. You you passed up on Lamelo because you <laughs> thought you had depth at the position, which is fair. You have Clay Thompson, you have Jordan Poole. Clay Thompson's getting older. He, he was coming That's off a torn AC, coming off a torn ACL. You could have paired him with Steph Curry to not only facilitate Steph Curry the basketball, but really get another scorer in. Draymond's there. In there that can get their own bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a serious question, but, Drew. Let me actually let me ask you a serious no, question. But, but what if, does that have to do with Lamelo? No, that's what I'm saying. In, let me ask you a state. question. If if Lamelo gets drafted, right? What does Draymond's role become? It's still the same thing. Now you have wow, another. The mellow, if Lamelo is still still essentially an, drafted to play that role, but you you would have another ball player that can do it. So now <coughs> who do you you can't what, either way? You're right, JC. Yeah, go <laughs> Either no, nah, bro. Uh, either way you shape it, it's who you're going to be more focused on Lamelo, obviously, because he opposes more of a threat offensively, which is only going to allow Draymond Green to be even more meticulous with what he wants to do on the court and just gives him more ability to do so i don't think you're wrong drew uh i I don't think that the warriors needed that position they didn't need Lamelo. they didn't need it but i i I understand why you still drafted because Lamelo is going to be a a star um i thought a bigger miss was on yeka i think on yeka has already shown that he's he's one of the he's one of the better defensive bigs in the nba even though wiseman has more potential uh, Onyeka has already shown those flashes for Atlanta. He guarded Giannis in the playoffs like better than Capella, and he was really great against him. I'm worried about James Wiseman. He hasn't played much basketball in three years. He missed yeah. his damn near entire year at Memphis. Last year, tears his uh, meniscus, meniscus, I believe. Yeah, mm-hmm. out last year. Now, this year, he might be out the entire year. Curris talked about how he adds a lob threat to their team, but... When you watch Wiseman play, I, I think a couple things stand out. For one, he still doesn't understand the Warrior system, which isn't a knock because it, it's a difficult and complex system. It takes some time to understand it and to know how to play with Curry and Clay and Draymond. But I also don't see that dog in Wiseman. I don't. I don't see him as one of those guys that 
really wants to get after it on a nightly basis. He, he's kind of laid back and, you know, nonchalant. So I, I'm worried about his injuries because these injuries at his early age is concerning and he hasn't played much basketball. I don't think the Warriors need him, but if he lives up to the third overall, I mean, the second overall pick, then, I mean, that is just an added bonus to what the Warriors already have, and it, it takes them a step above, for sure. But do you do you see that right now? Do you see him being as good of a ball player as Anthony Edwards or LaMelo Ball by any stretch of the means? Honestly, for I me, I don't, I don't think Wiseman, because he's in Golden State, doesn't need to be that. He needs to be Andrew Bogut. That's what I compare him to. He needs to be him number two overall. I'm not Bogut was the number one overall pick, and I understand let me what let you're me ask saying. you let me ask you this let me ask you this. Do the Suns regret drafting DeAndre Ayton? Hmm, that's a good question. They didn't draft Luca or Trey because of him. But for as replaceable as he's been able to be in hindsight, I'm sure the answer would be yes. I, I think the Suns are fine. I don't I don't I think they are Aiden, fine. They're Clearly, fine. Record wise, they're fine. No, but yeah. I'm sure they would love for Luka. me. I they think would love Trey. Young. I think Golden State doesn't care that they didn't draft LaMelo and Edwards was the number one pick. So, you know, they couldn't drop them anyway. Of I don't think That's Golden. That. I don't think Sorry, Golden man. State cares if they didn't draft LaMelo. If Wiseman at least becomes a solid big in the NBA. Yeah. And to add on to that, you, you mentioned Wiseman doesn't have that dog in him. But Jordan Poole and Kuminga do like they, yeah. it's it's in those two guys. So you have those two guys and Wiggins didn't have that dog when he walked into Golden State. Like he, did it. He, he was very laid back, didn't really care. I'm the number one pick. I got my money. So it, it's like and like you said, Wiseman hasn't played ball. So it's like it's going to take some time, obviously. But the way their timeline and set, they can take as much time as they need with him. They don't need to rush the process. And I like I do understand, Drew. LaMelo is somebody you don't miss on because of his star potential. But in a situation where you have the best point guard in the league, you have one of the best two guards in the league when he does play, and you have the best defense, one of the best defensive players in the league, it's okay to miss on a star like that because your timeline isn't like your timeline isn't where you need it. You feel I me? Mean? Wiseman was something they needed. Not needed, needed, but like down the road, they're going to need. So I think that was the right pick in hindsight because you still have Steph, you still have Clay, and you saw Steph last year. You saw you see Steph now. Granted, he's been struggling, but he's still one of the best players in the league. I mean, Clay, as soon as he gets his feet under him, he's still one of the best two guards in the league. So, and Draymond's still one of the best defensive players in the league. So, even in hindsight, you don't really need Wiseman to be that just yet. I agree. I think that Wise. I, I think that they don't need Wiseman right now. They don't need him to be a number three or number two pick esque player. Um, I think that really what they need him for is, like you said, really just to kind of guard um, the bigger, more dominant centers in the league, such as the Jokic, if they ran into him, an Embiid, if they ran into him. They're all you know, in the East. Say that again? They're all in the East. Exactly. So if they ran into those guys, that's the only time where I could see them possibly using him. But then at the same time, because he hasn't played a lot of basketball and when we go off of what he has done when he was playing, IQ wasn't that high yet. A lot of bonehead fouls, a lot of, um, you know, just immature things. And this is the thing that makes me a little conflicted about him. I don't think I've ever seen a true seven footer as athletic as him not block shots. Mm. His Had, timing is very bad. He, like, like, like really, really think about it. Just anybody chime in. Do, do you ever notice James Wiseman trying to block shots? Like, like, I mean, like actually jumping in, like trying to swat and block shots. It almost seems as if like, it almost seems like he doesn't know he's seven foot one. <laughs> and if uh-huh. he's trying to like wall up and like take charges or something like you never really see him going for blocks. Maybe that's because he's worried about his knees or his feet. You know, maybe just something hasn't clicked yet. But do, do you all see that or is that just me during the time he did play along with, you know, bad fouls and things of that nature? Rev, you no, can answer that question. I, yeah, no, I see what he's talking about, because <laughs> I think a lot of it is James Wiseman's. Let, let's be honest, his lack of knowledge on the court. You know, he he has not played the right amount of basketball in the last three years. You know, all we know, remember, really, really is his high school career. He played two games in Memphis, 
They were against bums. You know, you get the early when you're at college, you get the early scrubs first. You get your stats up. He dominated right. those guys. But even then, when you watch those games, the, the, the guys were six, four. He's seven feet tall. He's going to do that. And even then, he's bobbling the ball. You know, he's just he's he's like I don't want to say he's Kwame Brown like a bust, but Kwame Brown, a lot of his problems sound like the problems James Wiseman had. He's bobbling the ball, doesn't really understand quite the big men things to do. IQ is low. So it's like a lot of it is he just hasn't played ball enough. So it it, it really is tough for him. But he's in the right system for me personally. Kwame I was think, actually a good I, defender, though. That is true. He was. I, I, think, I think that he is in the right system. I think that he is going to do well, you know, as far as, you know, God willing, he, you know, doesn't get injured. And, you know, his body holds up. Um, as far as, you know, the LaMelo ball take, I don't think that Golden State is missing out on not drafting LaMelo because, like we had said before, LaMelo Ball, 6'7", 6'8", point guard, you know, he is trying to facilitate. And you were saying how, well, what does that do for Draymond? We can't pretend like Draymond Green is multifaceted on the offensive end. He, <laughs> he He's not. That, hey, right. mean, 100%. It, 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 and nothing against him, you know, it just, it is who he is. So he's almost, he's almost the equivalent to early Lonzo ball in mm-hmm. Draymond and on the offensive end. And what I mean by that is this, if he doesn't have the ball in his hands, what else can he do offensively for a team? He needs the ball in his hands. So yes, is LaMelo, you know, a star in the making? Absolutely. But bringing him in, LaMelo would have been most likely playing off the ball. Otherwise, Draymond Green would have been null and boy, which then means does LaMelo ball develop into the star we're seeing today? Because he's a point guard. He's not a shooting guard. He's not a small forward. He's a point guard. So I think that it's better that LaMelo went over to Charlotte. I think that was a better situation for him. And I don't think that Golden State is sitting back thinking, you know, dang, we should have we grabbed him. And, the, and I think the same thing for Anthony Edwards if he was available after the first round, I don't think Anthony Edwards is somebody you grab either. And what about AC, what do you think, JC, facts. about James Wiseman? Um, I mean, I, I'm I kind of I'm kind of in the realm of agreeing with all of you. Um, I don't think they really need James Wiseman because uh, this is a team who uh, most people I picked to win a championship, and he wasn't on the mm-hmm. roster. Neither was Clay. You get Clay back, we can all agree Clay's the second most or third most important player on his team for it to be a championship contender. Um, <clears throat> I think Kevon Looney is fine for. At, for right now at, at the center, he's somebody who understands the system that they run. He's a solid defender, doesn't need to do much. But what I will say about James Wiseman is the injury is kind of like it's kind of concerning because, like you said, he missed a year of college last year. He missed a lot of time. But I feel like James Wiseman, he has to be that Andrew Bogut type of center to ex- maybe not. I don't want to say extend because I still feel like they'll be title contenders, but to furthermore help Golden State's championship window. So. Like if James Wiseman, if everything, like if James Wiseman, everything clicks, he's a guy who can grab rebounds. If he can learn how to develop to block shots and get stronger and everything, he's going to be somebody that's going to be with Golden State for a while. And he's going to be somebody that at the big man spot, you don't have to worry about. And he's going to help extend the window for their for their championship runs. They, uh, I believe that Andrew Bogut during the, a lot of their title runs was an unsung hero. I mean, great defender, set great screens, did all the little stuff that Draymond did not to level with Draymond, but helping the Warriors in that sense. So for this year, I don't think they really need them. For, for this year, I don't think they really need them to compete for a title. But in the long run, I would like to see him present with the Warriors because I think he would help help their championship window keep extending if he can hit and be that big man. 